So there is just one plugin that you need to install inside of your WooCommerce website to be able to skip your cart page and take people directly from your product page or your shop page directly to your checkout form. In today's video, I'm going to show you all the settings that you need to know inside of this plugin to achieve that. But did you know that skipping your cart page can actually hurt the profits of your WooCommerce website because you're decreasing your average order value because you're not giving your users the ability to add products to cart, build the cart and order multiple products in the one transaction. Transaction. But there is a way around this. There is a way to streamline your checkout process so you take people from your product pages, skip the cart page and go directly to your checkout form, but also increase your average order value, sell people more of your products and make your store more profit. So if that sounds like something that you'd like to learn about, consider liking this video and let's jump into setting up this plugin. So under the video that you're currently watching, if you go into the description and scroll down, one of the first links there will be to a plugin called Funnel Kit. Now, Funnel Kit is the name of the plugin that we're going to be using today to skip the cart page inside of WooCommerce, but the plugin does so much other stuff. I have a whole playlist here on YouTube that goes through all the features that the Funnel Kit plugin can offer you. It does everything from being able to customize your WooCommerce checkout page to look like Shopify's. It allows you to easily create a multi-step checkout form, which increases your conversion rates. It allows you to easily add order bumps, which are those small upsells at the end of your checkout form, which makes you more profit by selling more of your products just before they complete their order. And it even allows you to add one-click upsells after your checkout form, which are separate upsell pages where your customer can click one button and you charge their credit card again and add that product onto their order. So while the Funnel Kit plugin does all of that, we're specifically going to be focusing on how to skip the cart page in today's video, but just know that the plugin can do a whole lot more. So let's jump in and set up the Funnel Kit plugin to skip the cart page. So here I am in my admin area inside of Funnel Kit and I'm going to download this product here called Cart Hopper. So I'm going to go download and save that there. And then back in my demo website, I'll go plugins, add new, and then upload plugin. And then I'll just drag that into there and go install now. Now, and then I'll go activate. So once that's activated here under funnel kit, we have this new menu item called cart hopper. So I'll click into that. And then here you can see we could make this a global setting. So this skips a cart for every single product and goes directly to checkout, or we can come in here and add rules. So back here on my demo website, this is how it looks without that setting activated. So we'll go to shop and then I'll go down and I'll go add to cart. That's going to add it to cart. I'll add this one to cart. We could also go into a product page and I could add this to cart. Now that's in our cart. I'll go view cart. Now we're in the cart and then we proceed to checkout and now we're on our checkout page. And if you're wondering why my WooCommerce checkout looks like Shopify's and looks really nice and neat and tidy, this is actually a feature of the Funnel Kit plugin, but we're gonna talk about this a little bit later in today's video. So coming back into here, let's go ahead and activate this. And when I click this, you'll notice that some options drop down. So you could actually say, let's skip the cart for all the products in our website, except we will exclude specific product categories or per product, so exclude specific products. So for now, I'm just gonna leave these blank and we'll go save changes. So every product is now gonna skip the cart and go to checkout. So coming back to our demo website, let's go to our shop page and then let's click into this hoodie. And then here I'll go add to cart. So I'm gonna click on this. So now we've skipped the cart and gone straight to the checkout page. Now you'll see multiple items here in my cart and that's just because this session here had carts from the previous examples that I did in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just empty the cart. So back on the cart page, and this is worth noting, you can still access the forward slash cart URL. So I can just go ahead and remove these. So let's go back to our shop. And remember, just with this setting here activated, no other rules because we're on the catalog page here. So the shop archive, we saw that if I click into a product, so we're on the single product template and I go add to cart, that skips the cart and goes directly to the checkout. And now we have that in there. If I go back and then I go back again, let's just go down and let's just say the belt. So from the shop archive here, I'm going to go add to cart and notice what happens here. So I'll click add to cart and now that says view cart, but it hasn't redirected. So so if I go view cart over here, I can still access the cart page. So if we go back, another thing to note is that because we're using Ajax here on this shop archive page to add products to our cart, there's no redirect happening. So if you want to set it up, so these buttons on your shop archive page go directly to your checkout page, you need to disable that Ajax. So let's go ahead and do that.
that. So let's go up here and we'll go to dashboard and then we'll go down to WooCommerce and settings and then we'll go to products and then here enable Ajax add to cart buttons on archives. So we're going to go ahead and disable that and then we'll go down and click save changes and then we'll go back here. And I'm just going to reload the page and then let's go down to that same product, which I think it was the hoodie with the logo. So let's go ahead and click add to cart now. So I'll click add to cart and now we're on the checkout page that covers the links on our archive pages and the single product template. So just doing what we've done here, every single product inside of your website, when somebody tries to add that to the cart, it's going to redirect from the cart or it's going to skip the cart and it's going to go directly to the checkout page like this. Now notice that people can still have multiple products inside their cart. So they can use their back buttons and they could add a product from here. It's going to skip the cart, go to checkout, but it still adds that product into the cart and builds the cart. Now under most circumstances, if you're setting up a shop like this, where people click to add the product to their cart, then they skip the cart and go directly to the checkout. You're probably as a business owner trying to only allow your customers to buy one product in a session or per purchase. So if we go back to our checkout page, I'll show you how you can make it so your customers can only have one item in their cart at any given time. And this is how you would do that. Now to do this, we're going to add this little bit of PHP code into our website. It's very easy to do. You can see at a glance what it's doing here. So when it adds to cart and tries to validate it, it's going to empty the cart. So set it to zero and then it will add that product into the cart, which makes it the product that they're trying to add to cart. So it's emptying, then adding one, emptying and adding one on every button click. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the plugin that I recommend everyone check out for adding custom snippets like that to their website inside of WordPress is this plugin here called W. WP code box. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. It is my affiliate link, but I highly recommend checking it out. It's so affordable and a massive time saver. Once you land on their website and click on pricing, you can see it's $39 for a one-time payment. So pay $39, never pay again. And currently they have a 20% off deal on that if you use the code lifetime at checkout. So I already have WP code box installed on this demo website. So here in the admin menu area, I have it here, WP code box. So I'll click on that. And now we can start adding everything. So I'm going to go up here and go add new snippet and I'm going to call this woo and then one product max in cart. So whatever makes sense to you. And it's going to be a PHP on page load root 10. So don't worry about any of these settings here. They pretty much work for what we're about to do, but where to run this snippet. We only want to run this on the front end. And then we'll just copy this code from here and I'll leave a link in the description of today's video to this website here. So you can copy the code as well. And then up here, we're going to paste that code and then I'll go save and then we'll turn it on and save again. So that should be active. So let's go to the front end of our website. So coming back to our website, we have three products in our cart. So let's go to our shop page and let's just see what happens. So let's try and add this. So we'll go add to cart and now we're in the cart. So it's removed everything and only added that. If we go back, so we just added the beanie. Let's say we add the belt. We'll add to cart and now only the belts in there. So that's how you'd go and do that. So now that we've looked at that, I'm actually going to disable this snippet and click save so that we can have more than one product in our cart to show you this next thing. So back here, we're skipping the cart for every single product in our website. Let's actually use the product category to skip for everything except one category. And here I'm going to select music and go save changes. So now we'll skip the cart for every product, except if the product is in the music category, then the user can add multiple. So back here in our website, if I go and try and add this beanie, so I'll go add to cart, we go straight to the checkout page. Now, if I go back and let's just say the album, so let's click into the album and say, yeah, I want to add this to our cart. So we go add to cart. Okay. Now that's added to our cart. If I go back and let's go down to page two and then the single. So I click into that and say, yes, add that to my cart and then view cart. So now I can see my cart there. So we didn't skip the cart. Notice how when we added the product to cart, it just reloaded the page and added it up there. So that's how that would work there. Uh, let's get rid of that. And then the per product, you would know how that works. So maybe we don't want to do this for the beanie or the album. So now every product in our store is going to skip the cart, go to checkout, except if the product is a beanie or album. Now I've worked in a WooCommerce website with a big catalog and I actually wouldn't recommend using the exclude per products because to do this, you would have to go to products, add new, you would have to create that product. So surfboard and go publish. And then when that's done, you got to come into here and then add that. So surfboard there and then save. And there's two problems that I can see with this. The first one is that it's just a bit, it's too many clicks. You got to create the product, then come back here and here and do that. And also user error. You might just forget to add that product here. So instead of doing 
doing that, what I would recommend doing is the following. We're gonna get rid of all of these for now and we're gonna go save changes. Then I'm gonna go to products and categories. And then here I'm gonna add a new one that says skip cart and then go down and add new category. So there it is there. And now if we reload the page here, when you're adding products into your website, you usually put them in categories. So we'll go surfboard. Okay, that's done. Go down and then product categories. It's there, skip cart. And then I go up and I click update and everything's done on this one screen. I can add the product and make it skip the cart all from this one screen without having to go back there. And obviously we need to come back into here and then add that product category. So skip cart and go save changes. But once we set that up once, any products that we add in the future, we can just add it there. Now you might be wondering if you have a sidebar on your shop page and you're outputting a widget that lists all the terms in your product categories taxonomy, you can use a PHP filter just to remove this one specific term. That's what I would do. But I just think from a user error perspective, you're going to be less forgetful if it's all done on the one screen when you're adding that product. Now, next, let's look at the add to cart button text. So if we're skipping the cart, let's just change this to order now and we'll go save changes. And then back here on our shop page, if we go down, that still says add to cart. So that, that could be theme specific just with the Astro WordPress theme that I'm using here. But if we click into the single product template, it has changed there. So what I would do is just add some PHP code to filter. So I just did a quick Google search and found this website here. So I'll leave a link to this page in the description below under this video. This is doing this single product page, which would be this layout here. And then this is doing the product archives, which is this page here. So it does both. So let's copy this. And back here in WP code box, let's add a new snippet. And I'll just say woo, add to cart text. And we're gonna do PHP, all that's good. We're gonna load this on the front end of our website, paste that code, and we can change this. So by now, I like to do order now. So copy there, paste that there, and then we'll go save. And then we'll enable that and save again. And then back here, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that for now. So I'm not gonna let the funnel kit plugin handle that part of what we're doing. And now if we go to the shop page and reload the page, you can see that this says order now. If we click into the product, the single template, it says order now. So we've covered both of those instances. So now that you know technically how to go and skip the cart in your WooCommerce website, I wanna circle back to a question that I asked you at the start of today's video, which is what's the downside of doing this? And it comes down to average order value. When you don't give people the opportunity to build their cart, purchase multiple products from your website, they can't spend more more money in an order inside of your website, which means your average order value goes down. Now you obviously want people to spend as much money as they possibly can in your store. So if people like five products, they should be able to add five products to their cart and proceed to check out and purchase those five products. Now I understand that under some circumstances, the ability for someone to go and add multiple products into their cart might not apply to your business. Maybe it's just not how your business sells their products. Maybe someone will only ever buy one product in a cart, but either way that you look at it by skipping out the cart step. The pro is that you're reducing the amount of steps in the checkout process, which could increase conversion rate. The downside is you're decreasing your average order value most of the time. So what's a way that we could get the best of both worlds where we streamline our checkout process, but then also increase our average order value. And the way that you do that is using one click upsells after the checkout process. So let me show you how our store currently works, where we skip the cart and people go from our checkout form to our thank you page. And then I'm going to show you how to add one click upsells after your checkout form and how that affects your average order value. So let's go to the front end of our website and I'm gonna to go to shop and I'm going to add the beanie. So I'll click this. We're gonna skip the cart. We reach the checkout page. I'm here with a beanie in my cart. You're forcing me to only buy one product. So you're decreasing your average order value potential here now, especially if I wanted another product because you you haven't been giving me the opportunity to build my cart, but I'm here now and I'm gonna go ahead and just purchase this one product in your website. So I'll say place order now. And now I reach the thank you page. So because of the way that you guided me through the checkout process, I was only able to spend $28 in your website. So you can see how not allowing me to build my cart has decreased the average order value in your store. Let's go back to our website now. And here under funnel kit, I'm gonna go down to store checkout. And then I'm gonna go here under upsell. And I have these disabled for now. I'm gonna go ahead and activate them again. So I'll go save changes and this one activate, save changes and this one activate and save changes. So now let's go through that same checkout process. 
So I'm on your shop page and I go down and I say, oh, the beanie, sure. Order now, skip the cart, go directly to checkout. So now I'm still getting what we got in the previous purchase where it's $28. I wasn't able to add more products to my cart, but now let's go down and I'll say, okay, cool. I'll just buy this. Then from here, it says, wait, join our monthly membership group. It's $30 a month and you get access to all our private content. This is just something that I set up in my previous YouTube video that I uploaded a couple of days ago, which I'll strongly suggest everyone go and watch it. It's a really good video, one of my favorite ones. But you can see here that now I'm given the opportunity to spend more money in your store. For now, I'm gonna say, no, I don't wanna purchase your membership. And then I'm gonna go to a down sell. And it says, okay, well, how about you get our album? And I might say, hmm. Yes, I'll get the album. So now this is going to be added to my order. You charge your customer's credit card again. And now I go to the thank you page. So that would be the best of both worlds. We had the checkout process where it was very streamlined. We skipped the cart. You took me directly to checkout, got my credit card details, and then I clicked pay. As soon as that happens, right, it's all done. It's streamlined. Good. Then you just sell me more products. And every time that I say yes to an upsell, I click that button. You charge my credit card again. Click that button. You charge my credit card again, because we have the credit card details from from the WooCommerce checkout form stored in the session. And so any upsell I say yes to, you just bill my credit card again. So it's a better way if you, depending on how you're selling your products, it's a better way to skip the cart, take people to the checkout form. And then once you get their credit card details, store them in the session, then show them more products. It is a better way, but you just really need to be mindful of how your customers are likely to want to buy products from your website. Now, with that said, you also have the option of doing what we just did here, where we added upsells and downsells after the checkout, but you could also just not skip the cart. So you could allow people to go to your website, add products like normally, build a cart like this. So I'll add this to my cart and then I'll add this to my cart and then I'll add that. So I'm going to view cart. We have three items here. I'm going to go proceed to checkout and then I'll say, mm, yeah, okay, cool. I'll buy these three items. And then from here we go, wait, and then we start going to the upsells. And I might say, you know what? I don't want the membership group. I don't want this full album, but yes, I will get the single. So down here, Yes, add that to my order. That's been added. Then we go to the thank you page. I've been able to build my cart and you've shown me offers after the checkout form. So now I spent more money in your website. So there's a right tool for the right job and just knowing how to do stuff is very empowering, but knowing when to use specific things is going to be the most important thing. So really before you jump in and skip the cart, just think about how people are going to buy from your website and think about whether or not you could skip the cart and offset the average order value being lowered from doing that through using one-click upsells and downsells. But the best thing about all of this, if you want to skip the cart, if you want to have one-click upsells and downsells, it's all done using the one plugin called Funnel Kit. So if you want to check out Funnel Kit, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. It is my affiliate link, but it's one of my favorite plugins for WooCommerce. I really feel like every WooCommerce website should have Funnel Kit installed. It does so much. If you want to learn more about Funnel Kit and what it can do for your website, I have a whole playlist here with heaps of videos that go in depth and show you the features that you could use inside a funnel kit to make more money with your WooCommerce website and offer a better experience for your customers. So I'm gonna to link to this playlist in the description below as well. I'll see you there. And it even allows you to add one-click upsells after your checkout form, which are a very non-invasive way for you to sell more of your products. And it even allows you to add one-click upsells after your checkout form, which are separate upsell pages where your customer can click one button and you charge their credit card again and add that product onto their order.